Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just trying to figure out the audio. Sorry. So I'm just going to use my <coughs> external internal microphone instead of external microphone. <coughs> How is it now? So I'm not using my internal microphone instead of my external microphone. This microphone is not good quality. I was using the other microphone because it gives better quality. But I think there is some issue with that other microphone. Uh, I have no idea why this happens with me. I think um, one, I, I think I'm going to switch to a Mac. Everybody has been asking me to switch to a Mac. Balaji, our co-founder, has been asking me to switch to a Mac for a long time. I think I'm going to switch to a Mac. Of course. So, <laughs> uh, so, okay. so I think in within a week, we'll just move to Mac and if all audio issues. Will... Dude, the whole thing is this, right? I, 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 am, I have always been a fan of Windows, but one has to understand Windows and Android. Recently, I moved to uh, I, iPhone and uh, I'm contemplating a move to Mac. Somehow, right, everything just works perfectly in that ecosystem. In yeah, Manjit is saying cut short note if you're not interested in Mac. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just start to say. Okay, thanks, Manjit, for that reminder. Uh, so, so let's look at Nifty, right? First thing. So yesterday, if you look at the candlestick chart chart of Nifty, it formed a bullish piercing. What is a bullish piercing? It, it is covering half or more of the previous red candle. So we had said that if it forms a bullish piercing, it is very likely that it will go up again. And we had also said that if you get to buy on dips, you should absolutely buy on dips, right? This is the thing we had told yesterday that we have to, um, no matter what, we have to be long nifty because bullish piercing has happened. And that's correct, right? This is a bullish piercing and now it has opened up. Now there are two things. One is there's a confirmation for bullish piercing with, with good volumes. Number one. Number two, today if you looked at it, right? Nifty dipped a bit and again got buying. Number three, this is a 50 DMA. Nifty is testing it, but as you can see, it's not really rejected from 50 DMA. It is closing on 50 DMA. So I would expect Nifty to go even more. It will not go down. It can go up or stay flat, right? So I would be neutral to bullish or Nifty. I won't think Nifty will go down from here. It is very low probability. Why? Because Ekto, it has broken the 17400 ka swing high. Now it is testing the 50 DMA without any rejection. It is confirming this bullish piercing chart. chart. If you look at Bank Nifty also, right? Yesterday Bank Nifty formed a bullish engulfing. And now it is confirming with the Doji. There is good volumes today. I would expect Bank Nifty to further continue its bullishness. So Nifty bullish, Bank Nifty bullish. Both of them are looking at uh, bullishness. So overall, since both the indices are looking bullish, my verdict on charts is that if it is at least going to be bullish to neutral. It is not definitely going down, right? And the second piece of the puzzle, open interest data, of course, confirms it. Look at this, right? There is hardly any correlation, but put removal at every level. This is genuine put removal and call addition. Today there was some GGB tiny bit of call selling in 17500. Overall, this is a classic example of a deceptive option chain. So if you look at it, right, overall you would feel that 17500 is a resistance. Please don't buy into that. It's a trap. 17500 might just act as a temp resistance, but most of the OI in 17500, out of this 8 million OI you are seeing here, right? Uh, majority of it was created long back. So, in fact, I am showing you how, right? Look at this. 17500 OI happened on October 14th, right? Um, sorry, where is that? 17500? Yeah, a lot of 17500 OI happened on October 14th. October 15th, there was little bit of 17, very hardly anything happened on 17500. And then, 
18 crore around 2 million. So out of this 8 million you are seeing, right? Most of it is very old OI. And although the 5 million is a small number compared to 8 million on puts, you can see that most of this 5 million OI happened today. So look at the recency, right? Out of 5 million put OI in 17500 puts, 4.4 million happened today. So all of this is very recent. None of this is recent. So purely because of recency and momentum, despite the fact that 17500 looks to be a very big OI compared to 17400, I am going to vote in favor of puts instead of in favor of calls and say that uh, yeah, it is very likely that bulls have the upper hand, right? So it looks like uh, Nifty can break out or stay neutral. So somebody is saying that look at the previous trend line on Nifty. Let's look at also that, right? So the old, so a lot of people are saying that there is an old trend line staying on Nifty. Yeah, now the point is this, right? First of all, maybe yes, but after it has been broken a couple of times, why would you think that this system is any more valid? So for me, I don't think this old trend line is valid anymore because we have seen it break multiple times, right? So I don't think there is much to believing that the trend line system is working. I wouldn't think so. So overall, on chart, on option chain, both will be bullish. Now go to FIA data, right? Every time we have seen this gap between green and red close and green go close to red, we have seen that it has been bullish. And look at this, right? FIA bought 20k calls, sold 25k puts. They bought 2400 crores in futures. This is one of the biggest single day future numbers in recent times, right? So <coughs> I'd say that on options and on futures, FIA is massively bullish. On stocks, they are neutral. So chart looks bullish, option chain looks bullish. Uh, FI data looks bullish, everything looks bullish, right? There is no bear case for Nifty for me now. So I wouldn't be shorting this market. My overall verdict is that I think Nifty is going to go much higher. I'll stay long and buy on dips, right? This is my Nifty verdict. This is also my bank Nifty verdict. I think more higher highs are probably going to come. Uh, dollar, of course, very tricky. I would not want to trade something in its all time high zone because it is unknown territory, right? Nobody knows what happens there. So maybe not also because RBI is tightly controlling it if you look at the charts, probably. So nothing on bank nifty, but I think nifty and so nothing on dollar. I think nifty and USD uh, bank nifty are uh, relatively easier opportunities to stay long and make decent amounts of money, uh, right? Um, so largely my trade is stay long on nifty and see how far the market will go. Right, um, okay. So, this is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow, um, uh, one day before expiry. Um, so, as usual, you know, this is not tips, advice, recommendations, anything. This is just analysis uh, so that we can all do it with the right uh, risk management, right uh, position sizing, bet sizing, etc. Right. So, on that note, I'll take your leave. We'll see you again tomorrow, as usual. Take care, guys, and keep your capital safe. Bye.